few reasons, but the biggest reason why we have a celebration today is because God is so good. Yeah. I mean, He's so good to us. And I know that there has been challenges and we have COVID and we can complain about many things, but God stays good and that's why we celebrate this morning. So I'm trying to get my wife's attention to the stuff that needs to happen. And you're waiting and you're waiting. Thank you. Okay. She needs to do stuff and I don't know why she forgot to do it. But she's like putting on lipstick and getting all those things ready. You know, like a woman should. Um, they always look beautiful. She you look beautiful without the lipstick, okay? Anyway, so. Uh, um, and then we are celebrating so many things. So many, so many things we can celebrate this uh, today, of the past year. It's almost one year since we arrived. Almost one. And, and if I think back on when we arrived, we had a barbecue and it was nice summer. I didn't know the winter would be uh, that cold. It wasn't that bad. I mean, minus 40 is just totally different. So, uh, and we had a great first year. So many things happened. We, we celebrate how God added to this church um, where we started and where we are currently at. And just saw how God increased that. We, we saw how God, sorry, uh, this, this one. Can I, just, can I just have a conference with that? Okay, so yeah, so, so she's like, it, it's, it's broken, it's broken, but it's the one leg that's loose from the table itself. Anyway, so, uh, and uh, we saw how God increased in, uh, in from the kids. I mean, I remember when we started out with the children, we were eight or seven, and we on average about 20 kids a year on the sun, which is just amazing. That's why I mean, we had to get uh, the airplane. It's not a trailer anymore, guys. Not an Echo trader. It says that, but don't believe the lie that stays on the trader. It's an airplane, okay? And we celebrate that airplane, and we celebrate seeing what God has done in the past a few months. Uh, so many other things. We uh, are going to celebrate a few things that's happening within the town of Peter as well, where we saw um, we, we, a group of pastors getting together. We have had five pastors getting together uh, last, uh, or every first uh, Thursday of every month. This coming Thursday, we're going to be about nine pastors that's going to get together and speak about how we can change our community. Things are happening and we're so excited about what's happening. We have added something to the staff here, Sierra, and she's quite a, a huge blessing. With, I mean, she organizes me, so that's how it works. I'm really very distracted, as you can notice, I get distracted easily, and so make sure that I keep to the point. Uh, that's why she does the announcements, because I don't pray to do that. Um, so there's many things that we can really praise God for the past few months. Uh, I want to especially praise the fact that everyone sitting here contributed to that. It is not, it's not, you know, I actually felt, feel that I just walked into a group of people already doing the work. Which is amazing. It's an amazing experience. People actively involved in every aspect of ministry in this town, in this region. We, we saw people uh, giving their talents and their treasures and their time to see that we can build the airplane, we can do a lot of things to reach this community. And it's so amazing. And I want to celebrate you this morning for everything that you guys have done. Uh, every part, I mean, there's, uh, I, I'm looking at Carla who's leading worship and she runs Kids Club and Sam and Meryl that's involved at Kids Club and doing all the other stuff, hosting people at home. And there's so many other names I could probably use or uh, name this morning uh, for people that's so involved in the ministry. I want to celebrate that. So this morning I want to speak on teamwork makes the dream work. Teamwork makes the dream work. The first week... I spoke about um, uh, the, the fact that we should not let our personal preferences uh, upstage our purpose. And I was speaking about how we stand in unity. We, we should not look at the way that someone do it differently as wrong, but rather take hands and reach out. Because a united church shows that Jesus was sent by the Father and that He really lived. And He really rules with the Father in heaven. Last week, Tia spoke about my life and my stories equals, or my life plus my stories equals seeds of faith. Where we spoke about how your life and your stories, as you tell, become seeds of life in other people's lives. 
how that would bring into their lives um, uh, elements of hope and stories that it's so important for people to discover Christ in those stories. So today I'm going to speak on teamwork makes the dream work. So there's a few items missing uh, on the table, like the pan. Oh yes, yeah, I need the pan. That's why I have a hot plate. So uh, communication, it seems that uh, left. Uh, that's part of my sermon, actually, because we are going to drop a few things on the floor if we don't communicate correctly. But anyway, so, so the thing that, that I want to point out, and today I'm going to build a burger, because I, I believe that teamworks make a dream work. I remember there's a time where my, times, my, my time, my treasures and my talents weren't used to build God's kingdom. I remember specifically, I worked in IT, I, I earned a huge salary. I mean, huge. Lots of but an interesting thing is I never had enough money to support the kingdom of God. I had lots of money. Every weekend I would spend about $300 just to go, you know, take up some DVDs and get snacks. And, and that, that every week, $300, easy. But if it gets to, to helping someone in need, no, I don't have enough money to do that. There was a time where my treasure was more important than the kingdom of God. And the same with my time. There was a time where um, uh, the, my treasure uh, and my time, and even my talent, I didn't use my talents. Um, I think my talent is to annoy my wife. Um, but, but I didn't use it in any way. So, so and this morning I want to speak on building the kingdom of God as a team. So I have, I have a few things on this table, and I want to call it a book. Okay? So... Um, Sorry, I just want to grab this. And so here's the thing about working together. A successful burger, and you know, I mean, you guys love, sorry, love burgers. No, no, it's John. You don't have to come and help me. No, it's fine. No, you're good? No, I'm good. Okay. Teamworks makes the dream work. So uh, I thought uh, John would be the one who jumps up to help me. Um, so, so there's something about building a perfect burger. But a perfect burger... Uh, it actually needs all your attention and time and love and care. Otherwise, it's a dry, not so nice burger. And I, I remember there was a time that, that, that I did so many things with my talents that did not glorify God. There was a time where I spent so much time on things that was not important, like binge watching stories. Oh, is that in a way? Thank you. So, and, and I remember this at all. I mean, my time, my talent, my treasures actually showed what's really important to me. It was not God. It was not God. It wasn't God. I was a Christian. I lived a Christian life. I read my Bible. I prayed. I did all those things, but God wasn't important. And it was actually seen by the way, way I lived my life, where my time, my treasures and talents have gone to so getting back to building this perfect bur burger. Building a perfect burger, I mean, it, it takes... Uh, I'm missing some condiments and sauces. Where's my sauce? Uh, ketchup. Um, ketchup, thank you. Where's the, the sauce? <laughs> no, it's it's, it seems that I'm trying to build a perfect burger, but it's, not, it's just not working. It's just not working. Because teamwork makes the dream work. So there's no... <laughs> most of the stuff I need, it's not here. But anyway, so... Um, Teamwork makes the dream work. There's something about working together to reach people for Christ. There's, there's something about standing up together and, 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 and running together and, and making a difference. Thank you. Now you've got everything I need. Thank you so much. What's anything else? No. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. So if you're a perfect burger person, you might put some... Uh, come on. Is this open? Oh! It's open. If you would build a perfect burger, you'd probably put some mustard on it, some ketchup, we call it tomato sauce. So uh, anyway, uh, and it's uh, tomato sauce, which is Afrikaans, tomato sauce. But ketchup, I know your Canadians love your ketchup, so the ketchup and then some of this burger, hidden sauce, but we just, I'm not going to put lots on. Um, but this is the perfect, I mean this is the perfect Canadian burger because it has lots of ketchup. And then you would do this. Now, anyway, teamwork makes the dream work. There's something about working together, creating this one um, amazing experience for people that would draw them to Christ. That would draw them to Christ. So, so I have this amazing uh, burger, and um, so oh, 
Okay. That was not necessarily the, the way it happened. But anyway, so here's the thing. Okay. Uh, actually, I did this on purpose. I'm just looking for my phone now. So there's something about when I try to build this burger by myself that I messed up. And without help, because I tried to do this and I tried to do this, without the right help, and without good communication, there was a lot of things left. There's something about when we use our talents, our treasures, and our time to build this amazing kingdom of God that would make people hungry. Now I have three people building a burger here. And they're going to make an amazing burger. Someone's going to eat it. I'm not sure who. Because it's going to be good. Okay, it's going to be good. It's going to be great. Okay, it's going to be great. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be amazing. And as that building, it, it seems that if, if they would take the time and they really look at what they're doing and, and they're not trying to rush it, they, they use their talents at times and their treasures, they would build something that's inviting for someone to eat. If we do not use our times, our talents and our treasures, we build something that's not in life. We build something that might be okay, but we're going to mess it up. We're going to drop it on the floor. And here's the thing, if we don't use our times, our, our time, our talents, our treasures, there's people out there that's hungry for Jesus that would never hear of Jesus. They, they would see the mess, maybe. <laughs> As you can see the mess here. Just watch out there. There's a buddy next to you. There. You would see the mess, but you would never see Jesus presented to people in such a way that makes them hungry. Thank you, guys. There's the perfect burger. Just show them. Just, yeah, just, that's it. Just top it off there with something. That's the perfect Woo! burger. Yeah, just give them a hand. So, and this is symbolizing the fact that we need to use our time, our talents, and our treasure to build the kingdom of God. You guys can go and say, have a seat. Thank you. To build the kingdom of God, to see that this town, uh, I knew Sam was going to get it. I don't know why. I just knew it. Um, there's something about it. So I just want to uh, run past this thing. If you just think about what just happened. I tried to build this burger on my own, by myself. And, and, and I have the mic here, and thank you, John. He, he wanted to do teamwork, make some dream work. And, and then, then, as I picked it up, because I was preoccupied, I dropped it. That's what happens so often when it comes to the message of Christ. We get preoccupied, we get distracted, uh, we have opposition. We're going to speak on how to face opposition while building the kingdom of God. We get so many things that distract us and we drop this one important thing. The most important thing we can do is to live a life that's inviting to people that want them to know Christ. A lot of times, and as I mentioned, as I started out, you know, a lot of times we do get distracted with our uh, tre treasures, our, our time and our, our, our talents. We, we, th we think we're not good enough, or we think we cannot contribute, the, 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 the small part I can play is just too small, I'm not going to even put up my hand. We, we think in so many different ways that maybe you're not good enough, or doesn't, you do not have enough, you know. But here's the thing, every one of us, have received talents, times, and treasures from God. And every one of us would be called to serve God with those talents, treasures, and time. Now, I don't want to invite you this morning to just think about, just think about your life. Think about this beautiful town. I've mentioned that there's so many things happening in this town, but wouldn't it be amazing if we can start to baptize on a weekly basis? Now, if I'm the only one that's going to build that burger, there you go. It's going to be a mess. But if everyone said, let's build this together, and we get people connected, we start this whole idea of helping people to discover Jesus through our lives, through our stories. And we're not going to look at our preferences and how we think stuff should happen and work, especially if it comes around in reaching to people. We can live with a life of purpose. And we can achieve so much work more because the teamwork makes the dream work. What's a dream?
much dream we have. We, we can go to our vision this side, is creating a family where Jesus is shared, people belong, and our community is served. We gather, we are generous, we go, and I want to add one more there that says we grow. What's our mission? What, what's our purpose? We are a family on a mission, reaching the loss at any cost. We bring healing to the broken hearted. We serve our community. Somebody just mentioned to me yesterday that she's seen so many broken people. So many broken people. We are here to help those. People that struggle with their um, uh, marriage and, and, and uh, all those type of challenges that we have in life, we're here for them. Teamwork makes a dream work. If everyone allows God to use their time, their talents, and their treasures, we would see a community. It turned upside down that the, the Jewish leaders and the Roman leaders back um, in Jesus' time uh, accused the disciples of the following. They said, we don't like you because you turned the city of Jerusalem upside down. Imagine we can turn this community upside down into a community where Jesus is just seen and experienced everywhere we go. Just listen to what Paul writes in Romans 12. It says, In the human body there are many parts and organs, each with unique function. And so it is in the body of Christ. For though we are many, we've all been mingled into one body in Christ. This means that we are vitally joined to one another, with each contributing to the others. God's marvelous grace imparts to each one of us varying gifts. So if God has given you the grace gift of prophesying, activate your gift by using the proportion of faith you have to prophesy. If your grace gift is serving, then thrive in serving others well. If you have the grace gift of teaching, then be actively teaching and training others. If you have the grace, grace gift of encouragement, then use it often to encourage others. If you have the grace gift of giving me the needs of others, then may you prosper in generosity without any fanfare. If you have the grace gift of leadership, be passionate about, about your leadership. And if you have the gift of sh showing compassion, then flourish in your cheerful display of compassion. Let the inner movement of your heart always be to love one another and never play the role of an actor wearing a mask, despise evil and embrace everything that is good and virtuous. Be devoted to tenderly loving your fellow believers as members of one family. Try to outdo yourself in respect and honor of one another. Be enthusiastic to serve the Lord, keeping your passion toward Him boiling hot. Radiate with the glow of the Holy Spirit and let Him fill you with excitement as you serve Him. Let us have burst forth within you, release a continual joy. Don't give up in a time of trouble, but commune with God at all times. There's something about when we unite. And we're going to unite front, we stand together and we reach. A time we work together to reach this town, this community, this area. Just imagine with me for a moment. That we stand in a community that's just full of the presence of Jesus, wherever we go. It doesn't seem, or that wouldn't mean that there's no trouble in it. It just would mean that there's answers in times of troubles. So I want to invite you this morning, as we are in a moment, going to just do something where we're just going to commit to our time, and our treasure, and our talent to God. I want to invite you to take hands with other members of our community, other churches. I just want to celebrate what's happened in the Baptist church as well. They have parking problems. They don't have enough parking. We can see that God is moving in this community. Let us take hands and reach this community and see that people's lives would be changed. I, I, you know, if I walk down the street, there's this excitement building up in me, knowing that soon we would experience something we probably haven't seen for a while. We'd see people knowing Christ 
glorifying wherever we go. We'd see people accepting Christ on a daily basis. We would see people being baptized on a daily basis throughout all the churches in this community. But it starts when we work as a team. So I want to invite you in a moment to say, today I'm going to be a kingdom builder. Now I'm going to invest my time, my treasures and my talents. And I'm going to serve the kingdom of God with me. I'm going to put God first in everything I have. In everything I do and everything I can do. I'm not sure I'm going to use my talent of irritating my wife. But anyway, we'll see. It might have happened uh, in, a, in a good way. So, so th- there's something about when we work together that changes the course of history. So this morning's celebration is about the changes we've seen in the past few months. But I also want to celebrate what we can see. What's possible when we work together. What's possible if we, everyone would use their time, their talents, and their treasure to serve God and to serve this community. So what's going to happen in the moment they'll play a song? And, and I'm going to invite you this morning. And this, uh, I've, I've made a hand, and this is handmade by me. Okay? So it's either, well, you can have two reactions. You can say, well done, or just nothing. Okay? So... If you don't, do you not have anything good to say, just don't say anything. Anyway, and, and, and this hammer is just this indication of us being builders in the kingdom of God. Remember, in the book of Nehemiah, we were busy speaking. This is where this series is from. We were speaking about a group of people, the Israelites, that stood together, that was united, that on the one hand they had a tool, and another hand they had a sword, and they were building, and they did it. They, they really did a miracle. They saw a miracle happen. Because within 52 days, a wall that was huge was rebuilt. A wall that was torn down completely to its foundation was rebuilt. If you look at uh, the book of Nehemiah chapter 3, there's something very interesting. And I I think this is what I'm getting to. If you read through that whole chapter, you would read of everyone that contributed towards that wall. Everyone that built. Everyone. You would read their names. Imagine your name in a few years from now, 100 years, 200, 2,000 years from now, that your name appears in someone's story saying, you know, because of this person, my whole family's trajectory changed. And it's possible. Can I just end up with this one story? So my trajectory of my life was, I think by now I would have been in jail. Uh, serving quite a long sentence because the things I used to do and I started to do were getting to a place where I totally lost control. So this tra- trajectory of life that I had was a life of crime, of drug use and all those things. And one person, just one person, and that was Tia's brother, came into my life and man, I put it in. He was in the same school and I uh, a few times slapped him in the process of him trying to reach me. But he persisted. He persisted. And in a moment where I accepted Christ, he was instrumental in changing the trajectory of my life. Imagine if your story can be something like that. You intervening in someone's life through love, acceptance, whatever it's needed to be done. And in that moment, you were building the kingdom. He was building the kingdom of, the kingdom of God. And then Tia came into my life which is I mean, one of the, the best influences that ever came into my life um, in, in understanding how God works. So she was building the kingdom of God through investing in my life. Her brother Johan was building in the kingdom of God. And every time I think about my salvation, my life, my kids would know that, everyone, you would know that. His, his story is written in the book of Psalm. Because he built, he took it seriously to build the kingdom of God through his life. And his stories. And those were the seeds of faith in my life. You, you, I, I want to invite you this morning to say you're going to do the same. You probably are already doing it currently, currently. So if you're doing it, well done. You probably feel that you need to do a bit more. Great. Maybe you have not done anything recently that, that built into the kingdom of God. Today is such a good day to start. But you're going to take a hammer. And it's your gift from us to you. And may this be a reminder that you are actually a kingdom builder. No one of us need to pray or 
do anything. The day that you got saved, you became a kingdom bold. And I want to invite you this morning to come to the front, take a hammer. And as you come to the front, maybe you can just imagine for a few years from now, your name being told or used in the story of someone's life that has changed forever. It may be something you do at work, and through what you do at work, you influence someone and they help you. Maybe your child, because a mom is the best place to call the kingdom of God, being a mom or a dad. Maybe something small can be something big. But we all are kingdom builders. We all have time, talents, and treasures that God can use to change a community. So, I'm going to pray. And as I'm praying, maybe you can just ask God, you know, in which one of the, these three areas he wants to invite you to be more involved. Maybe more time, maybe more of your treasure, maybe more of your talents. Uh, I mean, if you think about talents, we have a band with great musicians, and there's opportunity to, to join that. We have the technical department, we have kids ministry, we have kids club. So there's many places where you can live out your talents and, and just contribute to reaching this community. So I want to say, uh, just invite you this morning to consider how God can use you. What He has given you, what you have in your hands, through what you can reach people. Father, I pray this morning as we um, just close off before we go and make some real burgers and have a good time in fellowship. I pray this morning that as we take up this hammer and say, yes, we will build the kingdom of God, we, we will allow you to use us. Maybe open up our house so that people can come in and, and join us for a meal or maybe reach out to someone that's going through a difficult time and say, I, I will support you, I will help you. Maybe it's just you know, doing something at the church by being a, a children's ministry, ministry partner. Whatever and however you can use us, Father, we want to say this morning as we take up these hammers that we are available to build your kingdom. We want to echo your prophet saying, Here I am, Lord, sing me, use me. And thank you that you've used someone to invest in our lives. And their names, we can recall this moment saying, If it wasn't for this person, if it wasn't for that person, Father, thank you that we have the opportunity to be that name on people's lips saying, If it wasn't for this person, I would not ever have known God. Thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. I mean, we're going to play a song, and I want to invite you to come to the front and to grab one hammer. So if you're married, it's one hammer per couple. But if you're children in the house, yeah, don't, don't, it's not to be used for anything else. <laughs> but building the kingdom of God, okay? Just, just making sure, okay, I'm not... Okay? The disclaimer is, it's not to be used for anything else but building the kingdom of God. Um, but grab one, if you're uh, a family and you, it's, you're not kids living, a student, you're welcome to take one as well, but husband and wife, one each, please. Uh, not one each, one per couple, and everyone else can grab one as well. Come and grab your hammer, and, and now I really want to invite you to take a moment and say, here I am, Lord, sing.